let's start with the basics. Just what is data analytics? On its most basic level, it's the science of examining raw data, usually lots of it, with the goal of drawing conclusions from that information. That's different from another term you've probably heard, big data. While you'll often hear those terms used together, data analytics and big data are not the same thing. The Obama administration's Big Data and Privacy Working Group offers a great explanation of how they're different. Without analytics, big data sets could be stored and they could be retrieved wholly or selectively. But what comes out would be exactly what went in. Analytics is what creates the new value in big data sets, vastly more than the sum of the values of their parts. One of the reasons you'll often hear big data, data analytics, and big data analytics used in the same breath is because there is a lot of overlap. We need both the tools to collect and manage large volumes of varying data, as well as the tools to make sense of that data and turn that insight into action. That's data analytics. Okay, so far we've used data analytics as a blanket term to describe how agencies glean insight from their data to solve real problems and carry out their mission. But there are actually four distinct types of data analytics that help agencies answer different questions. The first is descriptive analytics, and it answers the question, what happened? Then there are diagnostic analytics that answer, why did it happen? Predictive analytics answer the question of what will happen? And finally, prescriptive analytics answer how can we make it happen? Let's think of this in terms of a simple scenario. Your agency produces a survey with high hopes that over a thousand citizens will take it. But when you find out that only a hundred people took it, you obviously want to know why. First, you'll look at the data to see exactly who did and didn't take the survey. That's descriptive analytics. Then you might look at other factors in the data, things like the location of participants, which email platforms they used, and what times of day they took the survey to determine why only a few people took it. Now you're getting into diagnostic analytics. Then, if you want to do another survey, you can compare that data from your first survey with what you know about potential respondents in your next test to predict how people will answer it based on similarities and differences in demographics and processes. You're figuring out what will happen, and that's predictive analytics. Finally, you'll want to know how to increase the number of respondents on your next survey. So you'll use past data to hypothesize ways to change behavior and reach more citizens who are more likely to respond. That's prescriptive analytics, both the hardest and most valuable type of data analytics. Now that you know the different types of data analytics, as well as how it's different from big data, it's time to dive deeper.